I'm going to stick to a, a running back as well, but it's going to be a buy for me. And that's going to be Nick Chubb. Keep trade cuts, got him at RB14. He's my dynasty RB9. Uh, just a reminder, last year, half PPR, he was RB5. Age 27, I know some, that might turn some people off, but I, I'm not like a huge ageist guy. Uh, if you listened to the show last week, had a li- really big conversation with Spaceman about how I think everyone's ageist these days, and there's a little bit of uh, an edge to be had by grabbing the value of some of these like older running backs, quote-unquote dusty running backs. Well, guess what, Zach? I'm buying the dust this season. That's going to be my move. So why do I like Nick Chubb? Um, you know, I, I think there's like one thing we needs to be out there is like Nick Chubb's great. Like everyone knows Nick Chubb's a great running back. Like there's no like arguments. No one's really saying he's bad, right? This is more about the price and what's happening. But some of the things that I think are making him a buy for me is I think the first thing is Kareem Hunt is out of town. Kareem, over the last three years, Kareem Hunt averaged 10 carries and two targets a game. While I'm not necessarily like just assigning those, those 12 opportunities a game to Chubb, I'm also not necessarily saying that Jerome Ford's going to get that as well. So there, it might be a little bit meat on the bone for Nick Chubb to move forward. Um, I'm projecting a pretty sizable workload for him, 300-ish uh, rush attempts, which is usually about what you'll see from a full season. But I, I got him on a career high of targets. Well, it's just 50 targets um, on the season for Chubb. Um, it's like one per game when it all boils down to things. Like I, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I think it really matters when we're talking like the difference between like an RB eight and like an RB five. Um, he's just, he's just a stud through and through, and I think he's a good buy, especially at this RB fourteen price on keep trade cut. I know there's some people out there that got some opinions on keep trade cut, but I, you know, I think even if he he's at twelve or somebody's value at twelve or eleven, he's still a buy. Um, I think like moving beyond Nick Chubb. I think there's a lot of reasons why I'm interested as well. And that's really going to revolve around the Browns. Exactly. I'm pretty bullish on the Browns this year, um, specifically their offense. Um, first off, you know, I expect Deshaun Watson to improve. Like, I, I'm not sure he's going to return to that form where we consider him a top, you know, four, five, six quarterback, but I do ex- expect him to improve on his play from last year. And as, as Watson did get settled into, you know, the season last year after a couple years deservedly so off, um, the pace of play of the Browns started to increase as the season kind of came to a close and Watson became more acclimated with that offense. The pace of play, folks, if you're not really familiar with that, is just the sheer number of plays that a team has per game. More plays, more opportunity for fantasy points, and I kind of expect that trend that we saw at the end of 2022 to carry over to 2023. Um, On top of that, there's been some drumbeats uh, about the Browns playing a bit more up-tempo in 2023. They added a new offensive coordinator in Bill Musgrave. He has ties to Chip Kelly, uh, who is notorious for fast-paced play. Um, There's a revised playbook this year for the Browns, and the rookie quarterback DTR from UCLA, again, Chip Kelly connection, mentioned that the playbook is similar to what Kelly ran at UCLA, um, a bump in pace uh, for t- for this team, I think, would be you know very positive uh, fantasy outlook. Credit to, to Pat Thorman on that one at ETR, getting those kind of nuggets out there for understanding pace. Um, I got the Browns, you know, the fourth highest rush rate in 2023. I got them in the top third uh, of team touchdowns. Um, while I do expect the Browns to pass a little bit more than what we've seen, um, hence the pace of play, I do believe like even if they do increase the pass, it's still an overall positive thing for Chubb. You know, in terms of the high value touches that he will be getting, Browns o- over unders at nine and a half this year, so they should be pretty dang good. Um, I just think the Browns will improve in 2023 and beyond. Um, you know, I think you know that's going to have a direct correlation with with Chubb's success, and I think buying him now as he has two years left on his contract before the season starts is going to be the move um some players and and some trades i would move out there like i would move a 2024 first straight up for him if you could try to do that um a lot a lot of steam on pollard right now i would trade my pollard to try to get chubb straight up Najee, i'd I'd much rather have chubb than Najee. um iuk apparently iuk on keep trade cuts got similar value um you can move him and then i think one that you know you hear those names i just said you're like not in my league tyler not in my league right um i think one that you could get done in your league is i would i would move ramondre for chubb straight up right now i still th- i think reminder is a good running back i think just long term i'm a little bit more uncertain of like is that pass fly i'm going to be there so i'd rather have a guy like chubb for the next couple years where i'm pretty certain that he's going to be a top six to top eight back so if you really want to get it done i would move my Ramondre for nick chubb no i love it i i love nick chubb everything you said with the the cleveland browns i, I feel the same way with that offense i would say as long as you're a contending team or you think you're going to be a contending team by all means buy all the nick chubb you can get um, if you are definitely a rebuilding team, I would never advocate to buy a running back that's 27 years or older, or For really sure. any running back. You should be selling everybody. So I would say don't sell him right now if you are that team. 
wait till like mid season. Hopefully Nick Chubb's having a great year and you sell him to one of those contenders who's trying to get in the playoffs. And that's when you can pull off that that first round 2020, that 2024 first round pick or even more if he's really having a good season. So regardless, you're not selling right now, um, but I do like buying uh, Chubb as well. Awesome. 